Hello. 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 Hi. Hello. Hello and welcome to That's English. Hello. The title of today's programme is OAP. OAP stands for Old Age Pensioner. Jubilado, pensionista. Our story is about some of the problems that people face when they retire. Cuando se jubilan. Here are some of the expressions you'll hear. Pensioners' rights. Los derechos de los pensionistas. The elderly, senior citizens, las personas mayores, and geriatric, anciano. We're going to see Tom visiting his parents. Our question for you is this. Why does Tom's father watch TV? Cheers. Tom, I wanted to ask you, why have you suddenly become so interested in pensioners' rights? Well, they're important. I never thought you were a social reformer. No. Well... You normally want to write about scandal and gossip. Yes. But a couple of weeks ago, I went home for my mum's birthday. Oh. Happy birthday, Mum! Oh. Mm. Here. I hope you like it. Oh, what is it? Hmm? Oh, oh, great songs from the World Wars. <laughs> oh, that's lovely, darling. Very nice indeed. Mm. Now, go and say hello to your father. He needs cheering up. He just hasn't been the same since he retired. How are you, Dad? Oh. Hello, Tom. You look well. Do you remember the first time you took me to see them play? Yes. I'll never forget that first game. It's not the same now. It never is, Dad. Things change. Things never change for the better. I read in the papers they have bought a new Dutch player. Why did they do that? Because he's brilliant. They bought him so that they can win the championship this year. There are no good players anymore. In the old days, they knew how to kick the ball. In order to get into the team, they have to be first-class players, Dad. They know how to kick the ball. Yeah, yeah. What have you been doing then? Nothing much. I watch TV to pass the time. Good picture there, Dad. There are no good programmes on. It's rubbish. And it's getting worse. I forget the last time I saw a decent programme on television. What's that funny smell? Oh, I do hope your mother's not cooking Indian food again. Mm. I'm doing a course in Indian cookery at evening classes. <laughs> I do hope that Dad's going to eat with us. Oh, I hope so too. Dad? I can't stand this stuff. I hope you like it. Mm. It's delicious. But you always used to cook cottage pie and carrots on a Thursday. I cooked cottage pie and carrots every Thursday for 30 years to please your father. I thought I'd have a change. <laughs> While Dad was getting older by the minute, Mum seemed to be getting younger. It was frightening. I feel sorry for your Dad. Dad feels sorry for Dad too. I found it very difficult to know what to say to him. I mean, so as not to upset him. Tom's father is obviously finding life rather difficult. It's a huge change. One day you're working full-time, 
and the next day you've got nothing to do. Unless you make a big effort to find something to do. But we'll hear more about that later. First, did you hear the answer to our question? Why does Tom's father watch TV? What have you been doing then? Nothing much. I watch TV to pass the time. To pass the time. Para pasar el tiempo. Fíjate en el infinitivo to pass. En este contexto expresa finalidad, es decir, por qué alguien está haciendo algo. Why did Tom's mother cook cottage pie and carrots every Thursday? It's delicious. But you always used to cook cottage pie and carrots on a Thursday. I cooked cottage pie and carrots every Thursday for 30 years. To please your father. To please your father. There are two other good ways of expressing the same thing. You can say, in order to, like this. In order to get into the team, they have to be first-class players. In order to get into the team. And as you watch the rest of today's story, you'll hear more examples of those expressions. See if you can hear the answers to these questions. First, why does Tom think his dad should take up a hobby? ¿Por qué cree Tom que su padre debería buscarse un hobby? And second, why is Tom's mum going to see her member of parliament? ¿Por qué va a ir la madre de Tom a ver al diputado de su circunscripción? Why don't you take up a hobby, like mum? Do you think I'm going to take up Indian cooking? You could do something else, in order to broaden the mind. I don't want to broaden my mind. Dad, I hope you're not going to start feeling sorry for yourself. Tom, will you stop talking to me as though I was senile? I'm not. And I'm not geriatric either. But to tell you the truth, I'm bored. For 40 years, I got up every morning to go to work. And I went to work in order to feed you and the family. Now, people treat me as though I were a senior citizen or an old age pensioner. No, they don't. Don't be silly. Oh, hello, Mum. Where's Dad? Oh, he's playing football. Oh, what? Yes. He's helping to coach the junior team at the local school. Oh, he's really enjoying it. I hope he doesn't overdo it. Oh, he'll be all right. By the way, Tom, I've got a good story for your newspaper. What's it about? I've joined a group of pensioners fighting for senior citizens' rights. Elderly people are not treated with much respect in our society. Mum, you don't want to take on too much. We're going to see our Member of Parliament to tell him what we think, and we're having a protest march next month so that people will know what we feel. Tom, I've written this article for your newspaper. Mum, I don't think so. Why? We are trying to sell our newspaper to younger people, the editor's not interested in stories about the elderly. Anyway, she made me show the article to the editor, and he thought it was a good story. And is he going to publish it? Well, yes, I hope so. <laughs> but do you know what he said? He said he thought it was better written than most of my stories. <laughs> Well done, Mum. Yes, both Tom's mum and dad have found interesting things to do, haven't they? Did you spot the answers to our questions? Why is Tom's mum going to see her Member of Parliament? We're going to see our Member of Parliament to tell him what we think. To tell him what we think. And the other question was, why does Tom think his dad should take up a hobby? Why don't you take up a hobby, like Mum? Do you think I'm going to take up Indian cooking? 
You could do something else in order to broaden the mind. In order to broaden the mind, para ampliar sus horizontes. So Tom thought his father should take up a hobby. But what did Tom say when his father started a new hobby? He's helping to coach the junior team at the local school. Oh, he's really enjoying it. I hope he doesn't overdo it. I hope he doesn't overdo it. Espero que no haga excesos. I hope you like it. I hope you like it. I do hope that Dad's going to eat with us. I do hope that Dad's going to eat with us. I hope so too. I hope so too. Here are those sentences again. I hope you like it. You sometimes say, I hope that you like it, but it's not necessary to use that. And for more emphasis, you sometimes add do. I do hope that Dad's going to eat with us. I hope so too. Do you think you'll have lots of hobbies when you retire, Tony? When I retire? Goodness me, that's a long way off. Yes, I hope so. I hope that I'll be as active as I am now. What about you? Well, I hope that I'll have time for lots of things that I haven't got time for now. Things like travelling. There are lots of places I hope to see when I've got more time. Oh dear, the time's flying. We'd better stop. I do hope that you'll join us for our next programme. I hope so too. See you then. Bye. Bye.